All right, we uh, out here on the Chatuga, we're heading to the Chatuga. We, uh, we always opt to uh, walk the road around to the top end of the late harvest, but it's fall. See some of the pretty leaves changing. The weather's cooler. I think it's in the mid 50s right now. We didn't come early in the morning. We wanted to come after lunch. So uh, we're making the walk in. I think it's October the 8th. So y'all stick with us. Maybe we'll catch some fish. try to catch a few fish it's beautiful weather so like I said in the beginning we walk this road because from here you can cross the river and start in Reed Creek that's the top of the uh, uh, the late harvest that's the end of it or whatever but South Carolina stocks it above there and beyond so fishing is really good from here all the way up to as far as you want to walk um, we walk up here because honestly, the uh, to me the water is below here. There's a few good holes below here if you wanted to walk down and fish, but to me they're not the best. So, and you outwalk a few people by coming up this this little road bed. It's actually where the stocking truck for Georgia pulls out here and uh, backs into the water right here. So, it's really shallow. I don't see any fish. Like they've just stocked it. There's nothing. You know, I don't see them schooled up or nothing. So. The water's extremely, extremely low. Uh, we ain't had really measurable rain other than a tenth of an inch in the past two or three weeks. Uh, the humidity's been down in the 30s. It is fall, so the water's super low. Um, so they should be pulled up. Hopefully they won't be too spooky. But uh, we've seen a couple bugs coming off, so that's good. We, uh, we waited till the evening. It's two o'clock now, so we'll fish till Five, five thirty, or something like that. Maybe six. Then, uh, then we'll get out of here. So it should should be a good evening. Well, we'll get rigged up and get after it. This is where them worms and eggs come in handy, huh? If I don't lose it, there we go. Mr. Sippy there. Spit it already. Decent rainbow. Slip him back. There we go. First one got skunk off. This big slow pull. So I'm sure we'll drag a few more out of there. Got the skunk off. That's right. Well, you sure did bite it real light, too. Yeah, they are biting them super light. Good old right. fall fishing day. Now we can get to fishing. That's right. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful day.
Nice. Oh, look at that fish just took a took a uh, something off the surface right here in front of me yeah uh, got him that might be a snag but I'll take it feels like a snag nice no, snag I believe he's fighting like a snag No. Just the, oh shoot! No, no, no! Come here! Ain't a bad fish. <laughs> Look at that now. Look at that. See you. Oh God Almighty! Just disappeared, man. Did you see that thing? That old bobber just went to the bottom. I for sure am educating, aren't you? That's what I'm good at. This. Water's extremely, extremely low. Normally that's not out of water. <laughs> so, water's really shallow. The fishing ain't been that great except in the deep, deep holes. So we're looking for a few more deep holes. Probably might go back to the beginning. And uh, so we can catch a few more fish before it gets dark. Well, we uh, made it up to Reed Creek. It's right there behind Josh there. That's the top of the delayed harvest. The water is super, super, super low. Uh, we're gonna head back down and fish a couple pools. They're a lot deeper that the fish are all gathered up in. So um, this is the top of the delayed harvest. So normally you can fish up through there, but it's extremely flat water. And right now it's so shallow, man, it's just tough. And you see all them waves just from walking, you'll scare anything up through there for long before you ever get to it. So, pretty shallow, ain't it? It's really shallow. <laughs> kind of underestimated how shallow it would be. Yeah. But we're gonna go walk the trail and catch a few more fish before we make the walk out. It's getting dark, 4.30, so we gotta, hour and a half fish more fishing or so what was that last time in the back back there not there missed it yep goofing off talking to you There, oh, there you go. Hey, over here. Fight you little rack away. Yep. Dark. 
I like the dark colors of these right here. It's like cool. There he is. Oh, nice fish. Look nice when it turned anyway. Old self netter, there we go. Decent fish. I guess I could help. There you go. Nothing like a good helper. <laughs> That's pretty fish. He is a good size little fish there, isn't he? Real nice little fella there. Calm down. Back here. Pretty good size little fella there. Yeah. A good fish to round out the day with. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Well, caught a few fish. Now we are uh, walking out, got a little breezy. It's actually cooling off really fast. I don't know what the temperature is, but I got a long sleeve on it. First time I wore waders this year. I'll be honest with you, I'm a little cool. Um, the water was super low. We uh, didn't see a whole lot of fish outside the really, really deep spot. So we didn't waste our time. Dragonflies on the bottom and 12 inches of water. So we hit a couple high spots, come back to where we caught fish when we first got here. Caught a couple more fish, and we got about 45 minute ish walk out. It's about a what a mile, mile and a quarter maybe. So a little bit of walk out, but it's been an absolutely beautiful day. Didn't see another person. So Sunday afternoons. Pretty cool. Appreciate y'all watching this uh, fall fly fishing on Stuga River.